Hey all, welcome back to another episode of Car Topics Explained. Today, we are going to be covering a minor, but still highly requested car from the first Fast and the Furious film. Vince's 1999 Nissan Maxima SE. The car was selected to be the vehicle for Vince mostly due to convenience. A couple other factors also played a role though. For one, they didn't want Vince's car to garner more attention than cars like the Supra or Dom's RX-7. And other cars they considered for Vince, such as the Toyota MR2 or MRS, were ruled out because Matt, the actor, couldn't fit in them. The car was originally owned, built, and rented from Craig Lieberman, the same person that was also the original owner of the Supra in the first film and also the Skyline Brian drove in the second one. And because this was Craig's car, it shouldn't surprise anyone that it had a fair bit of stuff done to it. The engine was a 3 liter V6 called the VQ30DE, which was mated to an automatic transmission, and it is supercharged with a Stillen Vortec supercharger kit. According to Craig, the car had pretty much every part Stillen had to offer for the car. Let's go through all the Stillen products the car had. A Stillen downpipe, custom exhaust, air intake, Fuel FMU or fuel management unit, a Stillen body kit, apparently the rear brake rotors were from Stillen as well, along with the sway bars, strut towers, struts, and shocks. And while we're on the topic of modifications, let's go through the rest of what was on the car. The spark plugs are from NGK, the car had a silicone hose kit from Hose Techniques, the car is painted in Dodge Viper GTS metallic blue. The car had a Sir Michaels reverse punched hood louver system, custom reverse mounted hood. On the inside, it's got some custom blue suede for the seating, carbon fiber dash overlays, an HKS cup holder mounted boost gauge, and neon lighting. For the wheels and suspension, you've got Eibach springs and 19 inch TSW trophy wheels with Yokohama TVS S1 tires wrapped around them. As for the electronics, well, it's got an amalgam of all sorts of stuff like TV screens, MP3 players, disc changers from Clarion, and all kinds of speakers from different companies. If you want the specific part numbers, you should always check the description for my sources, as I always include where I got the parts lists from. This car made 247 front wheel horsepower, which if you add 15% is in estimated 284 horsepower at the crank. The 0 to 60 is 5.6 seconds and it's got a quarter mile time of 14.6 seconds at 95 miles per hour. The top speed of the car is 140 miles per hour. But wait, there's more. I've got a few cool behind the scenes facts about the car as well. For instance, because the car had a $20,000 stereo system in it, the car was playing music as entertainment for the extras at Race Wars. The next set of facts have to do with Vince doing that big smoky burnout. The car had an auto transmission and despite having a still in supercharger, it wasn't the best at doing burnouts. Not only that, because it was a minor car in the film, there weren't any stunt replicas. So they had to ask Craig for permission to abuse his car a little bit. So what they did to achieve the burnout was they coated the tire treads in WD-40, which would do two things help the car break traction, and also make lots of smoke. This burnout was achieved with this and also a drop out of neutral. Remember this scene? Watch your back. Watch your back. During the fight scene between Brian and Vince, the quarter panel of the Maxima got dented pretty badly. I believe the damage that was sustained also led to the side exhaust being removed. And that's all I've got for today on Vince's Maxima. I hope you all have enjoyed this video and have found it both entertaining and informative. This video is part of a series I do called Car Topics Explained. I've done a ton of videos on the Fast and the Furious cars at this point. I've covered cars like Brian's Skyline, Brian's Eclipse, Dom's RX-7, Han's RX-7, the Supra, Dom's Charger from the first movie, and recently I covered Leon's R33 GTR. And when I'm not doing movie cars, I'm talking about importing R34s legally into the US, rare versions of the R34, I talk about race cars, and the future of the automotive industry as we know it. But beyond car topics explained, I also do vlogs, driving POV videos called Motor Madness, I have a series documenting my personal adventures with buying and modifying my own cars, 
I do car reviews, and I also do a bit of gaming and streaming. So if any of that interests you, then have a peruse through my channel, and hey, if you're extra cool, maybe even subscribe. But that's enough shameless self-promotion from me, so I'm gonna sign out. Thank you all so much for watching, have a pleasant day, and I'll see you all next time. I, Tom, the Racing Joker, will see you all later. Stay crazy, everyone.